G'day guys, Rob Herbert from RM Blades. Um, I've zipped up the mountain this morning. Um, I wanted to be able to put the new PDI Precision Defence Industry built 7mm PRC through its paces. It's running a 3.5 to 21 by 44 Delta Striker HD on top, um, running the 175 grain ELDX Precision Hunters through it. Um, and so far it has just been an absolute pleasure to use. So if you haven't heard about PDI, check them out. Google PDI, Precision Defence Industry, PDI, um, and you'll be able to find every solution that you require to have a precision tool built for you. Um, everything from Kestrel, um, Striker, Glass, um, Proof Barrels, Builds, you name it, they know their stuff. Um, carbon Fibre Stocks, that's that's their game that's their deal so check them out precision defense industries all right so i found a patella in the um, paddock which is probably about six and a half seven inches um, long by about four inches or so um, wide at its widest point primarily because it's white stood out in the grass uh, and i wanted to be able to put some rounds down range so the first uh shot that I fired was at 100 which placed the round right here as you can see um, and then I wanted to be able to see what the true drop was and took it back to 200 so I'm also using in combination the Hornady Ballistics app that you can just download onto your iPhone or whatever your device is um, and it told me to dial on at 200 um, I think it was 0.7 so that was the second round here through this hole and if I dialed on 0.7, it, it's pretty accurate. It would have brought me pretty much close to my first hole. So as you can see, there's actually no aiming mark or aiming dot or anything um, to reference off, um, which is a little bit of, you know, it's not a mistake, but it's something that um, it will help you build your confidence if you have something in the middle to aim at. I then stepped it out to 300, uh, used the app to dial on, and it told me to dial on 1.6, um, which I did, um, and it put it through this hole here. So if you think at 300 and I haven't actually got an aiming mark or something to aim at and I'm just aiming at literally the center here, um, I'm pretty happy with that. So that's that gives me confidence to be able to take that out this afternoon if I wanted to and to be able to engage anything between 100 and 300 quite comfortably. Now I am going to step this out to 400, 500 um, and see where it's at and then I probably will take a long shot um, at that K and just for fun, just to see how it rolls. But anyway, people, just thought I'd give you a bit of a, uh, a look. I'm very happy with it, very happy with all of the um, the data that's coming back to me, um, how the rifle feels, um, the scope is fantastic, um, the scope itself, a lot of questions around, you know, at the low power, if you're stalking, what's it like as a stalking scope? Um, it's got an illuminated dot, illuminated rectangle. Um, which absolutely does help in those tight scenarios, um, but you'd be quite comfortable. It is fine, but it'd be quite comfortable um, to be able to use it as a stalking scope. But primarily, if you're going mountain hunting and you needed to make those longer shots in that, um, you know, when you dial it on, it's just crystal clear. It's just fantastic. So I put it beside my mate's NX8 the, um, the other day, and um, very comparable. So anyway, I'll uh, get to it, and I'll go on push this back out to 400 and uh, see how we go. Have a great day people. A little bit of advice. Smile. We only live once. See us. Bye.